Yum, yum. Hello and welcome to this short video introducing a new feature in Modo 11.2. The feature is called Peripheral and it's a shading and rendering feature which allows for much more realistic renders of matte surfaces, particularly when they're viewed at glancing angles like the ceiling here in this render. So in this test render, I'm still using the old method which means that Peripheral is not enabled. And the problem I'm having is that my Fresnel reflection is too sharp. You can see quite clearly that there is a line here where this bright area behind the walls is being reflected clearly in the ceiling. Now if I just move the render to one side and we have a look at the ceiling material, you can see that the roughness is set to 100% and I've also attenuated the Fresnel by setting it to 50%. However, there is a roughness map. You can see by the thumbnail that it's actually very light, which means there's a lot of high roughness values in there. And the map itself is set at an opacity of 45%. So even with the roughness map, we shouldn't be getting this sharp reflection. All I want really from the roughness map is to get a little bit of variance in the roughness of the ceiling. And so the reason that I'm getting this sharp reflection on the ceiling is because the Fresnel calculations aren't properly taking the roughness of the material into account. So in order to explain this more clearly, let's take a step back and think about what the roughness setting on your material is doing. It's essentially simulating actual physical roughness, which means that you could actually achieve the same results with a bump map or a displacement map, but these are much more costly to render. So we simulate the effect of physical roughness with the roughness setting in the way that it spreads the light out. But if a material truly is rough, then all the micro facets of the surface will be pointing in different directions, and that will really spread out the specular reflections, even at the glancing angle. And this was something that Modo by default was not taking into account for its Fresnel calculations on very rough surfaces. So now with the option of per ray Fresnel, you can get more realistic renders with matte surfaces as long as you enable it in the channels. So in order to do this, I'm just going to dismiss the preview window and with our material selected, I'm going to switch to channels tab. And if I then scroll right down to the bottom of the channels palette, you can see the option is down here. Per ray for now, I'm going to set that to true. And then I'm also going to select the wall, which is here on the right hand side. And I'm going to enable per ray for now on that. And with that done, we can launch preview once again, set off another render. And once that's cleaned up, we'll have a look at the results. And with the render complete, you can see now that there is no longer a sharp Fresnel reflection on the ceiling. It looks much rougher and more matte. So I'm going to switch to Photoshop where I have saved a copy of both of the renders. This is the before and this is the after. And you can see the difference both on the ceiling and on this wall. The results in the second render are much, much more matte. We really get the sense that these surfaces are not glossy at all. Now we still have some variation of the roughness of the surfaces thanks to the roughness maps that have been applied to these materials. But now there is a much more pleasing and realistic spread of light in these reflections, which I think is a huge enhancement for interior renders, giving much softer and more realistic results. I hope you found this video useful and I hope that you'll make use of this feature in order to achieve greater realism in your renders. Thank you very much for watching.